of course, here he's thinking, okay, this king has gold that he's wearing. He must be a rich guy. Columbus has set out with that goal of God, gold, and glory. If he can get gold from this guy here, he goes back to Spain looking like a genius. And the king and queen will, you know, just turn him into a hero. He will get the glory. Um, of course, as it mentions in the quote, he is unable to locate the gold. So, wah, wah, too bad, Chris. A few years later, 10 years later, Amerigo Vespucci, he actually sails down the coast of South America. You can see that right here. He comes across, says, there's something hinky going on, starts sailing south. And he goes, is this Asia? Nah, brah. This is too legit. It's a new continent. Back home, they say, you're a genius. We're going to name it after you. And he goes, Vespucci? And they say, no, America. He's like, okay. So that's why we have North America and South America. That will come back on your exit ticket for today. Finally, we have Ferdinand Magellan. He circles the world and names the Pacific Ocean, Cape Pacifico, for being peaceful. So he sails out of Spain, goes across, around, through the Straits of Magellan, and then comes through this way into the Philippine Islands, where he actually didn't make it back to Spain. You can see it says he died here in 1521, but then across the Indian Ocean and back to Spain for his crew. Why does he name it the Pacific? Because he finds that that ocean is very peaceful. That gets you to today's exit ticket, which of course also is spliced into your Google form. It's going to come up on the next slide. So I'm going to pause this here and go ahead and bring this uh, video up right there.